Hi, everybody. It's John Lourdes from DiscoverSkills.com, and uh, I decided today to create a little bit of a bonus video for uh, the Photo Story 3 tutorial series that I put together. And this one has to do with how do you make an actual DVD uh, uh, set-top player video movie from your Photo Story 3 slideshow. And uh, the easiest way to do it, which we tell a lot of our students, is to use a program that actually comes from a company called Sonic which actually was purchased by another company called Roxio. And uh, the program is called the Sonic DVD for Photo Story 3 uh, program. Um, the easiest way to find it, first of all, is to just go to Google. And if you just type in Sonic Photo Story 3, the very first result that comes up is the link to the page that has this program. So let's go ahead and click here, and I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, you can see it takes you to a company called Roxio, which uh, purchased the Sonic plugin a long time ago. But uh, the point is, is that when you come to this page, if I scroll over, you can see that you can get this plugin for the Photo Story 3 program for only $19.99. And it's a download. It's a direct download to your computer. Um, so basically, all you have to do is purchase it, download it to your computer, install it. And the cool thing is it integrates right in with the Photo Story 3 program. Now, let's switch over to Photo Story 3. Here we are inside the Photo Story 3 program. I've already started a slideshow. I've got some slides on my timeline down here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the Next button which will take me to the screen where I can add titles and then go to the next button. That'll take me to the screen where I can put in custom motions or add some narration. Click the next button again. It takes me to the screen where I can put in background music. And I'm going through these very quickly because, of course, our tutorial series on this uh, covers all of these different screens we're talking about in great detail. And I just want to get to the part where we're talking about creating a DVD. So I'll click Next one more time, and here we are on the Save Your Story screen. Now, if you'll remember, on this screen, this is where you can actually create the movie, the actual movie of your slideshow that you can distribute and give to family and friends. And normally, as you go down this menu, there are different options such as save it for playback on your computer, save it for an email message, and so on and so forth. And again, we talk about these different options in our, in our video series on Photo Story 3. But here's something that's new. Once you've installed the Sonic plugin, all you have to do is scroll clear down to the bottom of this list, and you will see a new entry that says save your story to a DVD for playback on your home DVD player. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. You can see that as soon as I do choose that option, down at the bottom when it talks about the settings, it's actually set up now for the best settings for a DVD. Okay, so it automatically goes to the right settings. Then I just click on the next button. It goes through. It's, uh, it's putting my slideshow together. And what it's going to do is let me save it then as a high-quality Windows Media Video File format. And this actually will be the file that the DVD creation software will use to create your DVD. So it's creating this in a, in a temporary folder uh, on your computer. Okay, so as soon as this finishes here, it will come up with another window. There we go. So it's created the file. Now it says, what would you like to do next? We can view the story. We can save a copy of that file, that temporary file that was created, that video file, to our computer if we want to. Um, or, and here's probably the most important thing right here, it says continue to save your story to a DVD for playback on your home DVD player. So this is the option right here I want to click that will take me into the DVD creation software. Now notice what happens. This little window comes up. This is the plugin window. This is the actual plugin that you've purchased, you've downloaded to your computer from Sonic. Um, now you've got a few things that you can do on this screen. First of all, if you just start up at the top of it here, you can see that there's a checkbox that says include the picture files. Now, this is kind of cool because what it will do is it will actually create a new folder on the DVD disk that has your picture files in it, the actual files that you use to create this program. And what that allows you to do is to give somebody a DVD with the, the uh, DVD slideshow movie on it, but in addition, they've got the picture files that, they that you used for the show, and you can then, um, you know, then they have access to all those pictures. So it's kind of a neat way to get your pictures out to people. Next, we have a DVD title. This is where you would come down 
and you could type in what you want actually on your DVD menu title screen. So I can say here, my first slide show. Now, you'll notice here that it only lets me type in S. You see how there's limited characters here? That's because it's not very flexible in allowing you to create a menu system. It, it pretty much creates a menu system on its own, and it's a very strict size and number of characters and all that kind of thing. So here's what I'm going to do to change it. I'm just going to say my show. Okay? And then we can come down here and click on the video title. This is actually what the video, the clickable menu link will be on the show when you when you pull it up on a TV set or, or on a DVD player. And so we'll call this my first slide show. Whoops, you see there, it doesn't let me put all those characters either. So again, it's another strict limitation on the number of characters. And I, I'm obviously doing this on purpose just to show you that it does this. So again, let's put on here my first show. There we go. Now it says what drive do you want to burn to? And of course this will automatically point to your DVD burning drive. Uh, write speed doesn't really matter. It'll just burn it as quickly as it can. And then it says number of copies down here. And if you wanted to make a whole bunch of copies, you could you could choose obviously different numbers of copies down here at the bottom. What I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to go ahead and click here on create DVD. And I've already put a DVD blank disc into my DVD player. And it's going to do some checking and it's going to start burning and those kind of things. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do while this is happening, since really all you're going to see up here is a progress bar, I am going to go ahead and pause this for a moment and I will come back when the video is done. Okay, the DVD creation is over with and you can see that now I've got a small little screen that says you have successfully created a DVD of your story. Would you like to make another copy? And you can see here that it gives you some options for making another copy or uh, or it says, or click edit to open the DVD for editing an open DVD application. And I'll talk about what that is in a minute here. But, you know, for now, I just want to say no, I'm all done. And that's fine and dandy. And I'm going to cancel out of this window because my DVD has been burned. There we go. My DVD just ejected. You couldn't see it on the screen, but out here on the side, I, it ejected. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to minimize this. And I'm going to pop over to a little DVD player. Okay, so this is a little uh, DVD player that I have on my computer, but basically this is the same thing that you're going to see uh, on your DVD player at home with regards to this is the DVD menu system, and you can see where it says My Show, and then it says My First Show. So again, you're, you're kind of limited to how you do this here in terms of they don't give you a lot of options for editing this menu, but you know the point is to get your slide, your slideshow easily into a DVD uh, playable type of uh, system. So that's what we've done. Now let's go ahead and click here on my first show, which would be like hitting the play button on your set. And there we go. My slideshow has started. And I created just a very a simple little slideshow uh, with no sound or anything. But you know if I'd put sound with it, it would be playing back the sound. And you know again, the whole purpose of this was to allow you to create a set top playable DVD and that's what we've done and you can see how easy it was to do this. Now I'm going to go ahead and pause this and let's go out now and look at the actual DVD itself and the files that are available on the disk and I'm just going to go ahead and click here and open up my files window and I'm going to scroll down and here is the DVD drive and I'm going to click on that and this just shows you the folders that were created on the actual DVD itself. Now, again, this is a set-top playable DVD disc. Um, and if you know a little bit about DVD discs, this video TS folder actually has your video movie files in it that play on your set-top playing DVD. But what I wanted to show you was this folder right here called Pictures. Remember I said there was a little checkbox where you could, you could say to include your pictures? Well, that's what this is. And if I go inside of it, you can see here that here are my pictures. And I'll just change to large icons. There you go. So these are the pictures in my slideshow. Now, what's kind of interesting about this is, is that if I look at the pictures themselves, um, the photo story uh, plug-in has left the pictures basically the same quality, same size, all that kind of thing, but given them numbers for names. So it renamed each picture according to the number it is in the slideshow. 
So, you know, here's picture number zero, number one, number two, number three, and so on and so forth, all the way through my show. So it actually did change the names of them. Okay, so be aware that that is one thing it will do is it will change the names of your pictures and put them on the disc. Now, it didn't touch your original pictures. These are just copies of your picture. But, you know, the cool thing is, again, that somebody could have this disc. They could not only play a movie on their television set, but now they have the picture folder that they can go to with all your pictures in it. So that is basically the uh, the Sonic program that I wanted to show you today. And again, once you install it, it's just simply going to be on the last screen that says Save Your Story. And there's going to be an option called Save Your Story to DVD for playback on your computer. And then it's just a matter of, of clicking through it as I showed you. So hope this was helpful. Um, I know I had a lot of folks asking questions about this. And so hopefully um, this will answer some of your questions and kind of show you what you can do by, by just downloading that very simple 1995 uh, plug in from Sonic. John Lorch from DiscoverSkills.com, and I will see you in the next video.